These drills will focus on throwing and catching, as well as teaching the proper way to field ground balls. Throwing and catching is the most basic aspect of playing baseball, and players of all ages need to continuously work on these skills. First drill we're going to do is wrist flicks, okay? Brett is going to show the proper way to go through wrist flicks. So the first thing you want to do, let me see that ball obviously, okay? First thing you want to do is get that glove side angle. You want to point the throwing elbow at their partner. Then you want to focus on the feet, both toes squared to their partner. If you can see, you want to make a 90 degree angle between his throwing elbow and his, his throwing hand. And all he's going to do is flick his wrist. Go ahead, okay? You want to focus on the backspin of the baseball. Then his partner is going to do the same thing. You're going to go through five to eight times. Next drill we're going to do is the one knee drill. Okay, several things to focus on. Player's going to start with the ball in front of his body. Obviously, his strong knees down, and his glove side knee is faced directly at his partner. If his toe is opened up, that means his hips are going to be open. We want to make sure his hips are closed, so he's going to point his toe right at his partner. Now, he's going to start his throwing motion. He's going to drop his hands, separate, and get to the glove side angle. Once he gets to his position, what are you going to do, Brett? Check. You're going to check. You're going to look at both sides. Look at the front elbow. Look at the back elbow. If everything's good, you're going to throw, rotate, follow through with his throwing hand hitting his opposite knee. Go ahead, Brett. There you go. Always catching the ball with two hands. One thing we want to watch for as coaches, we don't want this front arm to be straight. We want to make sure that elbow is directly pointed at his target. The player is going to look down his elbow as a sight for accuracy. Once you're good, stop checking, throw. There we go. For this drill, cement feet, okay, we're going to make sure our lower half is buried into the ground. Toes pointed towards the partner, soften the knees, okay? Ball's gonna start midline right about his chest. Once he starts his drill, he's gonna bring his hands down to his belly button, separate, and rotate. Once he gets to the throwing position, he's not gonna stop. He's gonna throw and hit his opposite knee as he's following through. Good. Good. Nice job. Focus on hitting the opposite knee with your throwing arm. Good. Now we're going to move back to rock and glide, okay? We want to get further distance, okay? We're not throwing full speed yet. We're going to build up to that. Right now, we're going to do rock and glide is going to help with our momentum to help us throw, okay? First focal points to see. Toes should be lined up, okay? Base should be as wide or as long as your height. So how tall are you, Rich? 5'10", Five, ten. Five, ten. you should have at least 58 inches between your toes, okay? Your starting position is you're going to lean forward, okay? What I like to do is say give your partner a mean mug, give him that face so you're going to strike him out. So you're going to lean forward, okay? As we rock back, we're going to separate our hands and get to the throwing position. Once we're here, we're going to rock forward, throw, and follow through and with our back side coming over our front side, okay? Let's see it done at full speed, Rich. Good, good job. Really focus on using that momentum to throw the baseball. There it is, catching the ball with two hands. Good. The last drill in our throwing program is gonna be long toss, okay? The players are gonna gradually move back with each throw creating a longer distance between each other. The focus points, okay? You wanna follow through and move towards your partner. You don't just wanna stop and not move, okay? You wanna gain ground every time you throw. Throwing the ball as close to a line as you can, all right? Remember, catch the ball with two hands, hit your partner in the chest or in the head. Good job. Good job. We've gone through all the throwing program. Now we're gonna dive into partner drills, okay? This is a good way to simulate different defensive plays, different de defensive situations and glove work. And now we're gonna focus on that doing partner drills. Focal points, wanna be about 10 feet away. 
each both partners feet and toes should be pointed directly at each other you want to softly bend your knees get your glove out in front of your body and make sure your head's down partner one is going to roll a ground ball to his partner straight to his glove okay two hands field it up and he's going right back to his partner they're going to go back and forth five times really focus on watching the ball in Okay, now we're gonna to go to forehand, okay? We've gone through basic glove side, now we're gonna to go to forehand. Both players are gonna drop their leg back. Max, he's a lefty, so he's gonna drop his right leg back and have an open pivot, okay? Uh, is that an open pivot? Yes, yeah, so open pivot. Brett is gonna drop, there you go, drop his left foot back and he's gonna be on his forehand side. Things to focus on. When we field this baseball, we're not gonna field it out in front of our body. We're gonna field it over our glove side eye. Your glove side eye should always be on top of your glove at all times, okay? Same thing, gonna roll five ground balls to each other, watch it all the way in, bring it straight up to your hand, okay? Good, watch it all the way in, let it get deep. There you go, feel it over that glove side eye, good, good. We've gone through uh, glove side eye ground balls, forehand, now we're gonna to go to everyone's favorite backhand, okay? Uh, for Maxi, he's a lefty, he's gonna drop his left foot back, but you wanna make sure that he fields that ball over his left foot. When he fields the baseball, he's not gonna swipe, okay? He's not gonna take his hand like this. He's gonna pretend his elbow's a door hinge. Where he's gonna field it, it's gonna be just like this, minimal movement with the glove, okay? They're gonna throw five ground balls to one another, and we're gonna get after. Go ahead, bud. Good. Make, feel that ball a little deeper, uh, Brett. There you go. Good. All right. Now we're moving on to team drills. Okay. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is called the West Virginia drill. You split your team. You split your team up into uh, nine players. Give them each a position. Okay. You'll bring them in. They're all say the team name. Hurrah! Sprint out full speed to their position. Once everyone's at their position, the pitcher will simulate throwing strike three, and everyone yells out, got him, something funny. They sprint in full speed to home plate. Every player must run as fast as possible. The, the focus here is to teach our players that we always run on and off the field no matter what. Okay? So, catch, um, reposition. Catcher, first, second, short, third, se uh, left, center, right, pitcher. Okay. Got it? Bring it in. Eagles on three and sprint out to your position. Ready? One, two, three, Eagles! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Full speed, full speed. All the way out, all the way out. All right, okay. There, simulate strike three. Everyone yell, sprint in full speed. Strike three! Sprint in, let's go, let's go! All the way in, all the way in, all the way in. All the way in. That's the West Virginia drill. So this is a fun, fun, fun drill. It's called the relay drill. We're gonna start here with, with Brett. We have a line of players down here, about six of them. It's all about having quick hands, quick feet, and working around the baseball, okay? I'm gonna stress to them to get your hands up and make sure they work around it so it's an easy transition right to the next throw, okay? Let's do it, let's get it started. Hands up, here we go. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, work around the ball. So they're making sure every throw is to the glove side. Glove side of the player. Much easier to get around it and make a quicker throw into the relay. One more time, here we go. Twice as fast. They can get fun with this and it can be a competition. You get the stopwatch out. Work around it. Quick feet, make sure that throw is at the glove side. Nice, good job. This video has been brought to you by the Bradley Baseball Academy.